Francis Ngannou came out and said that he left about $7 million on the table. Now, a lot of articles I've seen already said, oh, Francis Ngannou turned down $7 million. But I think what he meant was uh, by not signing that contract that was offered to UFC, um, he lost a potential of $7 million in total compared to the $600,000 that he was making per fight. So it, he said Stipe fight, so I'm not sure if he means the first Stipe matchup or the second. Uh, if it was the second, that would mean that um, it was two fights ago. So it would have been the second last fight of his contract, it, which is usually when the UFC will come and, and give out their best offer to, to their fighter because they don't want their fighter going into their last match uh, having only one left. Uh, so in this situation, just hypothetically, we'll just say... Uh, it was at the Stipe fight, the, the, the most recent one. That would mean the UFC offered him approximately 3.5 million. That's a huge jump from 600,000. Um, that's why I'm kind of uh, steering away from, from that idea of it being the most recent Stipe fight. It might be actually uh, the first Stipe fight. Uh, and he's, he's calculating that or his manager gave him that number and said, hey, um, hey Francis, you know that if you accepted this offer back then, you would have had seven million dollars extra at this point. I don't know, but it's really interesting in this whole equation. This entire time, there's been people questioning whether or not he's actually in it for the money. Is he in it for healthcare? Is he in it for uh, boxing? What is he in it for? And that was a question that I had. Him turning down that huge contract or a very very big contract because it doesn't meet all his other terms, uh, speaks huge volumes to, to Francis, his character, and this whole saga. Because if he indeed, if he, if he turned down $3.5 million per fight, if, if we go with the, the other assumption, that means that he's actually really, 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 really sticking to his guns and saying, you know what? I don't want to fight if I'm not doing it under my, my conditions. Unfortunately, there's only a couple of people in history. There's only a couple of people that have been able and it could even be plausible to change rules. I don't think that that the UFC will, will change their stance. I think the UFC, uh, in in terms of this this whole saga, the biggest thing that they lose out on is uh, or they they have to deal with is bad PR. The bad PR of of dealing with fighter pay being discussed all the time. We talked about this in a, in a previous video uh, uh, about like, I believe Francis is never coming back to the UFC. I think he's done uh, just because the UFC is, is, is very, very hard to change. It's very hard to change the UFC, uh, when it, especially when it comes to contract and monies. It's very, very difficult. You have to have a lot of leverage. You have to have something that, that incentivizes the UFC uh, to, to make that change. And to make a union change uh, for Francis Ngannou, I don't think the UFC sees the same value. In terms of money, I don't know if Francis is able to garner the same amount of money that the UFC is now offering him in the most recent contracts. Now I could be proven wrong, uh, it's, just, it's just hard. It's just hard to look at the numbers that he's producing and say like, okay, look, he's pulling in pay-per-view buys, he has all this following, and you know what, if he goes and faces Tyson Fury, he's going to do a million pay-per-view buys. I don't, it's not impossible. Maybe the UFC has, has gaslighted me into thinking that because the UFC has ever since that first Stipe fight have been, uh, talking and hurting the brand of, of Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou even himself has spoke to all the instances up until this point where he believes the UFC has not had the best interest, but had not had his best interest. Uh, in all the decisions and if you could talk about the, the interim title you can talk about um, injuries you can talk about um, other fighters getting title shots over him there's a lot that goes into it now seven million dollars i don't know if that's the exact number but i feel like francis is uh being offered a huge amount and he's turning it down and he's turning it down for the reasons of just freedom in his words freedom to do whatever he wants and be a free contractor. Let us know down in the comments below. Do you actually think he was offered up to $7 million or like lost potentially $7 million over the time of his previous contract? Uh, what do you think about the whole situation? Let us know down in the comments.